Oh, blizzard. <laughs> ah. Enough of your shit. This is me. That's your shit. I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Good day to you people, my name is Thomas, and welcome back to another episode of Game Talk, where this, where the show, uh, where I discuss my opinion of about games, and uh, I get people hating on me, probably. But anyway, so today's discussion is, and fuck the games on the floor, Overwatch. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, if you don't know about Overwatch, when the... Where have you been on image users? It's quite it's quite a very popular game, even though I'm addicted to it. It's quite a very good game. In fact I've got the orange edition, including with the video making you asking. <laughs> but anyway, that's not the point. But my point is my mixed opinion about Overwatch. Is it the best game ever? No. <laughs> no game is perfect. It really isn't. We can't really simply judge a game because it has good graphics and a wide range of characters. Even though that's the good strong point of this game, there are many things, including the recent update, that made me want to make this video. So, my, so I might as well list off all the good things off before I get into the bad. So, the good thing about this is, of course, the wide variety of characters and the vi variety of abilities and the vi blah, 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 blah. variety of maps variety of game modes and it's new stuff when it comes to certain events like the uprising event that was definitely my favorite but the anniversary event and all those kind of stuff where you get special loot boxes with special skins in it which was really really good the second thing i really like well actually no is this not oh, fuck i don't i think that's pretty much all that i pretty much like about it no that's not it <laughs> so the, also the voice acting is a really done is really well done. It's nice to see the voice actors getting together, having nice jokes, acknowledging the fan art of this, and you know, all this kind of stuff. It's a really good job, and I really appreciate that. Well done. But, of course, there are things I really, really don't like about it. I, I might as well start off with the recent update, which was, I don't know if you noticed, the Lunar update, where they introduced the Lunar Colony map, and my hair is in my way. Wait, if you don't know, um, basically it's the home place of Winston, one of the characters from Overwatch. He's a Governor thing. And um, apparently, in that update where they showcase the new map, they're also going to make some edits to Reaper, one of my main heroes. In fact, my main hero in Overwatch, Reaper. Yeah, call me edgy. I don't care. So, and I'm not quite liking it a lot. You see, what they've done to Reaper is they've added a buff to him. So, um, yeah, fuck then Reaper was back then Reaper can be an easy character to kill because he is rather slow but he deals heavy damage so you have to be careful with what you do so with Reaper's um, ability his original ability was to after he kills a person a soul will orb will, da, 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 da. A soul orb will appear then it will go up to it and absorb it and he will gain health now you may be asking how much how much health does he gain well, let's go find out. So according according to the um, the Overwatch wiki, a, a Reaper absorbs about 50p per health of every time he absorbs that globe. Now, to the recent update, they've changed that. They've gotten rid of the soul globe thing, but I, I was kind of suspicious on that. But they did say that he was going to get health every time you shoot, you know, you know, enemies. And I'm thinking, oh, he must gain, you know, probably the same amount of health. Let's go and have a look how much he heals. P to 10 P. You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? But trust me, after playing it recently and after trying this new update, I've been barely getting any health. What? Now you could you could bring up the argument by saying, oh this actually helps the game. No it doesn't. It does not help me at all. Because from a Reaper main, I found it more enjoyable grabbing their souls and thinking, oh, this actually looks good. I rather enjoyed it. And it's just rather, well, there's two things wrong with it. One, it's boring. Utter boring. When you shoot someone, you're just like, okay. Oh, look at that. I got some health. Two, you would either be very low on health by the time you've just got that. And two, you would have been dead. You're either dead or you're on low on health by regaining that health. 
What? Also, the second thing that I really don't like about this game is its characters. I'm sorry, these characters are bloody broken. No matter how much you're going to uh, fix them or whatever, they're broken. Diva, how the hell does she have unlimited ammo? How? On the other characters, they, are, they don't have unlimited ammo. Well, except for Reinhardt, he has a hammer. Nah, now, you could say that, but here's the thing. It's a hammer. It doesn't break. Well, it can break, but he doesn't swing it about, throw it away, and grabs a new one. It doesn't really exactly work like that. That is the same with Diva. How the fuck does she get unlimited ammo? Where did the sources of the firepower come from? May, as well. I mean, I mean, I the way I see it, they should have just kept it as a sharp, you know, projectile as the gun, not a spray. Then freeze you in place and shoot ya. It does not make the game fun. It makes it frustrating. And also, by the time you think you've killed her, she just retreats to an ice block and regains loads of health. What? It's just really ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. And I keep trying to find a way to enjoy the game, but with its recent update that's completely utterly broke me and the bloody broken two characters in this... Oh, I still also forgot to mention. Fuck Bastion. I know you could say that, oh, Bastion needs to be fixed. Fuck off. He hasn't. And you can bring up the argument by, by saying, oh, you're just shooting in the back. Yes, you can. But there are those people out there who just sit in the corner. Fire. 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 Done. Really? Also, just, why though? Why give him a Gatling gun? I mean, uh, granted, you can just lower down the ammo. Mo, it would have been fixed. But no, you had to have more to that. Another thing, in the previous update, he was rather slow in transforming. How is he transforming now? Incredibly fast! That, that doesn't make it fair! It, it was rather okay for it to slow down, because then he gave... You know, the other player's time to go for you for the Bastion player. It also gave players, you know, the I uh, fucked up. The Bastion player time to decide. Okay, where can I set up? Which allows which takes up the most time and such. It didn't is it just no. The third final thing that I really don't like about the game is this rigged loot box says. I don't know how why Blizzard does this, or I don't know why. It's all for the sake of money, the greedy fox. I'm gonna get flagged for this video or probably Something, I don't know. They're really greedy. The, any company who makes a lot of money, they're gonna do it. Some companies have to make money, I really understand that. But is it really that hard just to, you know, give something to the fans? As compared to events, the Uprising event, and the recent one, the Anniversary event. Now, in the Uprising event, I got quite a few, you know, legendary loot boxes, and good loot boxes along the way. Wait, and even though I didn't get the skins I wanted, that's perfectly fine, and it's a bit annoying, really, but it is purposely rigged to say that if you can buy these loot boxes, you can get them. But it was okay if you didn't have to buy the loot boxes, because you might still get the skins you want by going on normal missions or going on competitive and such. What did they do in the anniversary event? You barely got shit. Like, seriously, I have played through so many matches in competitive or in normal quick play for the loot boxes. And how many legendary skins did I get? Two. Just two. And most of the time, I didn't even get purple ones. They were just, they were just blue and white. Sprays. Poses. And it's so ridiculous. It is ridiculously rigged. Why? So, there you go. That's pretty much my opinion on Overwatch. It's not the best game ever. It really isn't. The way I see it, it's... Yeah, I have a mixed feeling with Overwatch. It's okay to an extent. Extent, you know, the characters keep me interesting, the story keeps me interesting, the environments keep me interesting. But all these goddamn things, the broken characters, the rigged loot boxes when it comes to events, Reaper's update. It's just really utterly bad for me. And it's completely ruined my experience. I would even rather be playing Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark than this. When it comes to frustration. There you go, that's my opinion on Overwatch now. You're gonna look. You're probably gonna look at this video and think that oh, I don't have a sense of humor. Whatever is that? I don't care. I really don't care. That's my opinion on Overwatch, and that's the point of game talk is to express my opinion of certain games. And um, you know, we have a chat in the comments and whatever. But as it stands right now, but before the update, or if there's gonna be another update, I hope Blizzard fixes the many kind of things that I don't like about Overwatch. So yeah, bit of being. Anyways, why don't you like, comment, favorite, and subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.